We're here at the Mally Fowl restaurant in the Riverland, and this place was voted the best themed restaurant in the whole of Australia. So I thought we'd better come and check it out. Now, Carol's the owner. Tell us about this place. Well, we started it 14 years ago. We've been open now 14 years. Yep. Um, started out as a hobby, um, but it ended up a lot bigger than what we anticipated. And yeah, pretty cool to win the best theme restaurant in Australia. Oh, what is fantastic. the theme? What, what have you got going? Anything goes type theme? Very, very Australiana, oh, yeah. but yeah, anything does go. <laughs> Some, somebody gives you something you want to hang it on the wall, so we, we do that. We get stuff donated quite a bit. Excellent. What's yeah. your favourite dish on the menu here? Um, it would be the kangaroo. Yeah? Yeah, I love the kangaroo. And the quail. Mm -hmm. Love the quail. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go past Goes on a bit. <laughs> now tell us, uh, celebrities, have you had many float past the Mally Fowl restaurant over the years? Oh, we have had the odd one or two or three. Yeah. Uh, Merv Hughes here, was oh. here one night, which was a great night. Big it's Merv. Of fun, yeah. Big boy. A couple, <laughs> couple of beers into Merv, I would imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. And he gave a talk to some blokes that were here. And, yep. And we've had the Premier and, and the Governor and... Oh, we had Adam Brand. Mm -hmm. And what about outside? I see there's kind of the amphitheatre style set up. Is that for, you have campfires there? And... Yes, yeah. Usually, uh, June long weekend, we've always had a country music show. Right. And we have campfires and um, we get the cookhouse going and bar up, up down there. What's your favourite bit of memorabilia that's hanging in these walls? It's a big question, that oh, one. There's, there's literally <laughs> thousands of things in yeah, here. Yeah, there is. I, I really like the old sign over on the side of the wall there. Yeah, yeah. For 20 pounds it cost. That was a lot of money back when back pounds were in. Because that was back in, before the 60s. Yeah. And yeah. I, I also love the fact that you guys cook some of the meals in front of everyone. You've got like a barbecue setup. How would you describe that? Yes. Uh, well, originally we were going to have it as cook your own, which uh -huh. is how we planned it. You don't like cooking, so you thought, bugger it, they can do the work? Yeah, it started out like that, but n nobody wanted to cook their own. Oh, really? So <laughs> I only did it for about three months, I think. Yeah. And um, we've done it ever since. But so. geez, it adds to the atmosphere here, it though, does, doesn't it? It does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really cool. It kind of yes, gives it that it Australian barbecue feel. It's yeah. cooking going on yeah, as you're eating. Yeah, it does. Which reminds me, I've got some steaks to turn over. Oh, well, yeah. Do you well, want to? Yeah, yeah, let's have a sticky beat, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I love little restaurants and places to eat around South Australia that are full of character. You know, I also love the fact that Carol here busts her backside to keep this Riverland icon going. The least you can do is if you're a local or if you're floating past, is swing by for a steak or two to support her. We need to keep family run places like this going. The Mally Fowl restaurant is absolutely loaded with memorabilia. It's kind of like when you're eating your meal, you don't actually know where to look. We had the kids on board and I asked them what was their favourite little bit of memorabilia around the Mally Fowl. The Flying Doctor fundraiser. I like the legs. I like the beats. We like the guitars. So if you're visiting the Riverland, make sure you stop off here. The Mally Fowl restaurant has got to be on your to-do list. <laughs>